hear what you were able to do out there tonight. It's like a whole lot of things are working for a lot of guys. I feel like um, the second half in, at, the, at the track on the road, uh, we were finally clicking together, finding some pieces. And, uh, we were excited to come out tonight and just uh, keep, 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 keep building on what we um, um, have started. It looked like you were just incredibly assertive in terms of being forceful in the paint. But you also, when you had those open looks from three, you were more sure about, you know, about taking them. It, it felt different for you. Just trying to be aggressive, you know. Um, I had open looks. So I'm, I'm always trying to do my job. Like I said, my teammates do a great job finding me, and uh, I'm just trying to finish. How, how, how big was the idea that this team drops their big on just about everything on every screen, and you guys knew where kind of the soft spots were? So we faced many, many, many different pick and roll coverages, you know, and. Um, this is, this is just another one. Uh, we had we had practice yesterday. Uh, we worked on it um, on how to attack it, and uh, we just came out next year. What's the biggest difference for you between this year and last year, and the way you approach the game? It seems like you know last year was always really hyped about possibly all sort, but now it looks like you're very confident in your game, and you're really stepping up and doing picking up the load and other victors out. For a while. I feel like I'm. I've been always confident, you know. I'm just have a bigger role this year, you know, and I'm just trying to take advantage of it. Having Jeremy back because his ability to run pick and roll and run offense looked like that really benefited you guys in the fourth quarter yeah. when you were able to stretch the lead out again. Jeremy was great tonight, you know, um, very confident in the shot, you know, um, being being aggressive in the pick and roll, you know, just going downhill, taking shots, making making the right read, uh, it was big for us. With Miles probably missing some time here coming up, what, how do you expect that to change what you guys are trying to get started here with this group? It's tough, it's tough because, um, it's the beginning of the season, you know, we're also trying to find find each other and uh, find that chemistry and play together. And now he's going to be gone for a little bit. It's tough, you know, uh, wishing speedy recovery, you know, healthy. Uh, um, and when he comes back, uh, he's really going to help us, you know. He's uh, the best uh, defender in the league, you know. And uh, we just can't wait to have him back. To the end on the offensive end, you guys really struggled with turnovers the first month or whatever. What, what's been different here for these last two months? We're just, I feel like we know each other more, you know, we're getting to know each other, we know where everyone's meant to be, you know, just trying to be aggressive, you know, coach always says that after dropping two, we got figured out, we dropped a third one, so tonight was a must win for us. For you, how important was it once the extension happened? I know players often talk about, you know, making sure that their life off the court set mm -hmm. so they can perform well. Once the extension happened, no more trade talk, yeah. does that sort of relax you a bit and you're like, all right, now I'm going to show, show my game? Yeah, of course, you know, um, and at those, those moments, you know, you don't you, you don't really think about it, you know. Um, you know you have one more year left with your team. As a, as a player, as me, I just want to go out there and help the team, you know. Agents took care of it, you know. Um, I just had a final say at the end, and um, everything worked out how it had to work out, and now I'm just happy I can just play relaxed. Thanks, guys. Thank you.